terrible. Absolutely terrible. Hey everyone, um, two days in, we did it. Uh, so we blew away the very modest initial goal of $500 pretty quickly, and uh, we're currently sitting at, uh, let's see, 127% funded at $636. Um, for my first initial project with no real fan base, I'm calling this a win beyond my comprehension. <laughs> um, uh, we still have 28 days left in the campaign to actually get this, you know, actually do more. So I'm going to start thinking about other stretch goals. There's a few on the campaign already, like removing ads and uh, adding in trading cards and things like that. I'm going to see if I can figure out some other uh, fun things we can do, maybe bookmarks or um, I'm not sure, maybe uh, some different formats for uh, the artwork that we already have. Um, yeah, this is really exciting. Um, and the fact that a good portion of this is, you know, not friends and family and people who are, you know, people who already know me is really, really exciting. So if you, uh, if you pledge to this campaign and we're not like personal friends or anything, um, I don't know how you found me, but thank you so much. You, you guys are awesome. If you pledge to the campaign and you are a friend of mine, um, thank you so much. Uh, it, you know, it just really, it really means a lot to me for, I don't know, this, this, uh, sort of trying to take a new step in my creative world and my creative life, um, move on from the music world and seeing that people are kind of happy to come along for the ride has been very, very exciting and really, really, it really means a lot to me. So thank you very, very much. Um, I wanted to use these, um, videos to also, do a little like um do a little promotion of what inspired me and what you might be interested in also reading if you're interested in other horror comics so i'm going to pull out um one of these every episode and just you know give you an example of you know what do i like and what do i think is important in the world of uh you know in the world of comics and you know what inspired me so the first one, this is uh, very, very basic if you're into the uh, horror comic world, but um, if not, this might be your first time seeing it. So this is um, actually technically a manga. This is uh, Uzumaki. Manga is a, uh, basically the Japanese comic, comic strip system. Uh, it's n not just sort of comics book Japanese. Uh, there's a whole different sort of art system. There's a different uh, format to reading where everything reads right to left instead of left to right. Um, uh, pages are smaller. There are less panels per page, which sort of makes the pacing of the stories very different from what you would get in your normal um, American comics. And that's uh, very, very different um, when you think about what space on a page means for the pacing of stories and what it means for just the way that stories are formatted. Anyway, Uzumaki is one of my favorites. I uh, actually have a tattoo of one of the panels. Uh, this one right here. Um, the artwork in this is absolutely fantastic, especially if you like absolutely mind-bendingly horrible things. Um, these are some of the best sort of art pages or pages of artwork that's kind of ever been committed. Uh, Junji Ito or Ito Junji um, is a fantastic, fantastic uh, writer and artist. Yeah, I don't think he, he's ever worked with an outside writer. Um, that's a, also sort of a Japanese tradition of everybody sort of um, drawing and writing themselves. There's only a couple of people who kind of spring to mind who haven't done that. I believe the guy who uh, writes One Punch Man is not the guy who draws it, or at least the guy who writes One Punch Man initially did it as a webcomic, and then it got turned into a full-fledged printed manda, manga with uh, new art kind of following what he did, but with more um, technique and rendering and things like that. 
Um, but I absolutely recommend Uzumaki because it is one of those things that sort of only really works on a page. It only really works as, um, as a comic book. Uh, they try to make a movie of it, I believe in the early 2000s. They sort of had the, they sort of botched the ending. They didn't really do a lot of, um, they didn't really realize a lot of the more horrific parts of it in quite the same way. They definitely did a lot of very cool makeup effects, but there's something you can, something with the uh, usage of like line and shadow and the way it kind of draws your eye and then the contrast with this with the very much more plain and less rendered um faces of the onlookers it's just these clashing ideas these clashing visual concepts that i think make everything so absolutely striking and it just draws the eye into uh the page anyway um if you have not read Uzumaki, please check it out. If you've read Uzumaki but you've never read anything else by Iro Junji, uh, please do. He has uh, a wealth of just a, an it's like an embarrassment of riches. Like his entire back catalog is absolutely fantastic. Um, Gyo is a wonderful uh, book that he's that he's done. Tomie is another one. Uh, and he has a lot of short story collections. They've started translating them en masse, and they've started publishing them far, far outside of uh, the normal um, outlets for Americanized mangas. So I think you'll have a pretty easy time getting a hold of uh, getting a hold of his work at this point. Uh, back when I first started getting into him in the very, very early two thousands, it was sort of a crapshoot. Uh, and now you have a lot of his work out there. And I'm sure you can probably find it on, like, scanlation sites and places like that. Um, this is Magpie, by the way, who decided to just pop into camera shot. Say hello, Magpie. You're a sleepy baby. You're a sleepy baby. Anyway, um, thank you so much if you have given to the campaign. If you have not yet, please consider it. And, uh, yeah, if you like me rambling... I can't knock the book off the table. If you like me uh, rambling about the uh, the horror comics that influenced me, and I'll probably do some non-horror comics in these two because 30 days, and I don't think I have uh, 30 titles on my shelf currently. And I'll start digging into other things that I like. I mean, I'll probably even do some superhero stuff. I'm sort of raised on that. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing here, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. If, you, if there's something else you'd like to know, I might do... If, you know, anybody's actually watching these and there's a question about keepsakes, if you have a question about, you know, what I did before I decided to start, um, before I decided to start writing comics, feel free to shoot whatever questions you have down in the comments. Um, I just put up a short story that I wrote, um, a few months back on the Reddit No Sleep Forum. Um, I've sort of where I've been, um, posting a lot of my kind of prose work has been there. Anyway, I will put a link to that in the description, uh, so you can check out that story. And uh, I'll put a, a link, obviously, to the Kickstarter, so if you are interested in checking it out, or if you're interested in seeing, you know, the really cool, um, the really cool promo video that we did, um, you can check it out there. Anyway, thank you so much, have a great night, and uh, yeah, thank you for once again for uh, getting us over 100%. Thank you very much.